Hello, everyone. I'm Darth Paradigm. Um, yeah, I hope everyone uh, managed to score whatever it is they wanted to score from the uh, recent um, or yesterday's uh, Saber Trio reopening. Um, <laughs> it took, uh, what, like something like eight minutes uh, for, uh, what was it, 800, 850 Sabres to, uh, to sell out? And uh, that was actually uh, kind of longer than I, I thought it would take. I was predicting two minutes, um, but then the mirrors kind of hung on for a while, and I don't know why people didn't really want to uh, to pick up mirrors. I mean, I, I understand that there's a, a certain allure to the uh, to the Vectra and the Vulcan and and, uh, and whatnot, but um, yeah, the mirrors still a good saber, and I have one coming on Wednesday, so what's the problem? <laughs> if you're a Ron Cotto fan, you probably want to get a mirror. Um, but uh, we're not here for that. We are here, however, to uh, celebrate a saber that I recently picked up um, from a friend of mine, Gray Paladin, who has his own channel. And uh, if, if anybody's interested in uh, interacting with Gray Paladin, uh, we're having a live stream on um, Shannon for, from uh, Forge by Lights uh, channel uh, tonight at 7 um, Eastern uh, Daylight Time, I'm assuming. Uh, <laughs> trying to verify that right now but that seems to make sense and uh so it's, it's going to be three of us and i'm, I'm assuming there's probably going to be guests because there's always guests there's so many of us and, and uh, we all show up uh, in every play else's live streams and that's just uh kind of the way the system works um but in the meantime like i was saying i acquired this this is a uh, dark edition senza and uh this uh Gray Paladin sold to me, and uh, I've been fiddling around with it today. Um, this is a, a Neo Saber, a Neo Pixel, uh, equipped with a uh, CFX soundboard, and uh, it's been updated with the latest firmware update. I was having some problems with the Saber um, freezing. Uh, I would turn the Saber on, turn it off be swinging around playing with it and it would freeze with the blade on and what I have to do is uh, essentially and I'm going to show this to you now as part of the review is you have your uh, recharge port there and I would have to insert a kill key and uh, basically reset the saber so my assumption was that it had something to do with the SD card I have um, actually written uh, message to uh, Saber Trio about this uh, freezing issue. But um, just today I, I purchased a brand new um, micro SD card and reinstalled everything and re-updated the Saber and uh, so far so good but um, during this uh, <laughs> during this review there is still the possibility of, um, of the Saber freezing so I'm not sure what the issue is. I'm hoping it's just the SD card and that uh, replacing it with a brand new one is uh, gonna be the fix. So the other thing that you'll notice is the uh, Saber has an OLED screen right there. And when I turn on the Saber, I cannot be betrayed. I cannot be beaten. You can see a little, uh, little Kyber crystal there. And of course, the little graphics change, uh, change, um, you know, to, to different formats. And for the most part, it shows you what the saber is doing, and it has different uh, uses. I don't really pay too much attention to it. Uh, the one thing that I do like about the OLED screen is it'll actually show you um, which which blade profile is selected by number. And which uh, which color profile is selected by number as well, and it does show you the name of the sound font, and it shows you uh, the numerical the denomination for the sound font on the board, so you can kind of you know which way you're going, and it makes it a little bit easier to find the sound font. Plus, um, I find that for volume control because you can edit the volume on the saber. Uh, there's three different aspects. I believe you can control the volume for the main menu, the um, the the, the main sound and then the third one the third elements I, I don't know what it is but you can control each one of those volumes independently so it actually shows you 
a graph and you know what you're adjusting. It was a little bit confusing when I was trying to adjust the volume uh, before I had access to the screen because I didn't really know what was going on. It was just a, sort of a strange thing and <laughs> and I would just kind of uh, magically end up with the volume that I wanted. Um, so this uh, Sabre clocks in at 11 and a half inches long if you discount the uh, the uh, the little wings here, the little um, uh, what do you want to call them? The little um, emitter uh, pieces. God, for the life of me, I can't think of what they're called right now. Um, let's just call them claws. Uh, but it's 14 inches with the claws on, and about 11 and a half inches with the claws off. It you know terminates right about there, and there's just a you know a couple screws that you remove, and uh, you can have a completely different saber if you want. Or you can have uh, essentially a fallen order saber, and of course I've got the uh, the uh, fallen order uh, sound font, um, uh, the survivor on here. I have a cyan version. Um, you know, I'm not sure what the difference is between the different versions, other than possibly uh, the files that are available in the sound font probably differentiate slightly. Uh, but that's the one I chose. And uh, one of the things I like about this hilt. Um, in the black finish and uh, I'm gonna provide some glamour shots at the end of this video so you can really kind of see you know what I'm talking about but when it's in the black finish it really shows off a lot of the detail um, that you might not necessarily notice uh, in the weather finish or perhaps even the uh, standard finish um, it has uh, let me see so I already showed you uh, the threading here or the uh, pommel and you have a very nice uh, grenade section here nice grip section little uh, well it's not really a grenade section it's just grip section with um, the, uh, the knurling on it it's very very good grip and then you get your first choke point here and your second choke point now my tendency is to want to choke up as much as possible and I find that uh, I'm inadvertently interacting with the uh, the switch here which is uh, one of the limitations of this hilt uh, for me plus uh, it's a little bit on the long side I, I tend to prefer you know a saber that you know, usually cuts off about there something about 11 inches long is, is, is usually sufficient for me but um, this is a, a unique hilt with a 36.7 uh, inch blade uh, this is the saber tree of variety blade so it has kind of a uh, sanded finish which is uh, it's a really, really nice blade. I do appreciate it very much. So it does have a lot of the elements of a, um, you know, a Fallen Order Saber. I have a, uh, what do I have? I have a Saber Forge um, Fallen Mark I, so a bit, I'll probably do a comparison with that. It'll just be visual. I'm not going to talk <laughs> about something that you, you can readily see with your eyes. And of course, the saber has. Uh, well, right now I've got it. I have it equipped with all of the standard um, fonts that now come in smooth swing. I decided to go ahead to throw them all on there. Why not? And I also have uh, ten custom fonts: um, five light side-ish and uh, five mostly distinctly uh, dark side. So I've got thirty sound fonts on here, and uh, I'm going to be demoing the uh, capabilities of the saber. Well, in just a few minutes. Um, it does, of course, have stab, lock up, um, blaster deflect, uh, smooth swing, uh, on, off, force effects, uh, uh, you name it. I mean, this thing pretty much covers the entire uh, gambit of what you can do with a saber these days. And, uh, I don't know, it's not too much to say other than uh, let me show you uh, a little bit what this uh, what the saber can do and uh, and I'll stop talking okay so to boot up the saber you just hold this for a sec darkness rises and light so I currently have this set to uh, Supreme Leader, which has turned out to be one of my favorite sound fonts. I love that blade effect. 
So let's turn off the light. It's still going to be, uh, it is daylight, so I apologize for that, but it's NeoPixel, so it doesn't really matter too much. talking about sometimes my thumb just kind of lingers there just a little bit too long and I deactivate I try to keep my thumb in this choke point here but it doesn't always work Sound bank selection. Uh, let's see if this uh, is visible to y'all I am the Inquisitor. Long live the new Emperor. Great Mother. Who's the Quad Santa? Thanks! Next one. Fire. Induction. Unstoppable. This is a sound thought by, uh, I believe it's by BK called um, Afterlife. I have this upside down right now. This party's over. That's uh, basically how the uh, the saber performs. So uh, let me uh, let me show you some uh, glamour shots.